Hello friends, good week. How are you? Vladimir here and this is the weekly review for 14th of July 2013. What a week we have had on the previous week. After a kind of relaxed Monday, uh, most of the uh, other days were very, very, very interesting, very volatile. And the best topic for um, uh, uh, it looks like two, uh, summer 2013 will be currency world war that's exactly what we have had on the previous week it started with the euro dollar that dropped down during the first days of the previous week uh, thanks to uh, Draghi and his uh, sayings uh, pound dollar followed very 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 serious drop down also right here uh, during the beginning of the week, thanks to Carney, they they all work to devalue their currency, and as it was, uh, as it looked like, they all will uh, take their currency to the downside. Ken Bernanke, helicopter ban once again, and change the game again. And uh, from my point of view, nothing really special happened with Bernanke's speech. Bernanke just said, all right, that most likely uh, they're going to um, reduce the purchases. Uh, most likely the interest rate will start to uh, grow in 2014. Nothing, no, nothing really new, but the market, as the market fly up and the dollar got devalued immediately. The biggest question is if it's here to stay. As I say, this is a world war. Not Draghi, not Carney, not uh, anyone else will let their own currency to suffer too long. They all will intervene because this is the new economy. This is the new financial market we have. Welcome to 2013. That's the uh, topic <laughs> uh, at the middle of this year, right? But as joke as it sounds it's not at all every uh, central bank um, CEO, uh, CEO and the leader of course they ju the chairman they just uh, ready to do all they need to devalue their own currencies strong pound is bad to Britain strong euro to is bad to euro uh, in, in that's especially now in such conditions when the interest rates are so low they want they every one of them want to grow who is going to sneeze first that's the biggest question after Bernanke's speech it looks like Bern when Bernanke sneezes it's much more stronger than everyone else the biggest question is what how exactly it's going to affect on the uh, majors so I will share with you of course my analysis and share with you my uh, trades I was very very bearish for the pound dollar and I still am of course for the long run I will explain why and this is the pair I want to start with after making this uh, break below the trend line it went all the way to the previous bottom that's around 148 which is extremely psychological zone and flat up right from here the biggest question will be can it break it up again this trend line or will it suffer and play around this zone here from my point of view the next two weeks will be mm, deciding days uh, I think uh, that until the, the end of this month we will see uh, new trend or continuation of a trend uh, forming and uh, from my point of view the pound dollar is very f to keep going down very important to hold below this trend line that's very very important as for now if it breaks it up I would be very very careful I would not look to buy I will explain in a minute why but I will be looking only for sell opportunities so, uh, I promise to explain why this is mainly why this is a monthly chart and on the monthly chart we got the break down below this triangle this is a bearish triangle the break is bearish as well okay stochastic just crossing to the downside uh, RSI still looks bearish NMACD 
slope still bearish all this should lead for a down move on the pound dollar this breakdown should lead us for duplication duplication means around 130 another thing we need to pay attention to is this trend line it takes us also to sorry here we go okay it takes us also to the same zone the biggest question is can the pound dollar make it from my point of view yes as i said carney is a new chairman for the uh, BE, uh, BOE, sorry, <laughs> Bank of England, and uh, he kind of um, said, not maybe not directly, but a bit hidden, that he's ready to make take all it takes to devalue the pound dollar just to uh, guarantee growth. Okay, uh, I remind you, Britain only avoided uh, recession uh, with the latest GDP uh, being released mm, pre uh, earlier they had two month two quarters in a row third one and they will be officially in a recession they just avoided it they want growth and for growth they must have weak currency so this is my opinion for the pound dollar okay in long uh, in a long view I think we are going down uh, the best ways to, to do that will be go to the uh, actually four hour chart or even daily chart and look for sell opportunities there as long as we are holding the daily 20 MA and the broken trend line as i just showed uh before um so how can we do that again uh, every uh, daily divergence hidden uh, or continuing if it will be formed on this uh, zone or the four hour chart divergence okay none of them is actually going there yet uh, would provide a good sell opportunities okay. um, in case it pushes up i would not go to buy because i think the up move should be limited in this case uh, i would be looking for sell opportunities on the pound dollar yet take a look on the weekly chart also this is something to pay attention to from one side it looks like this is going to be a actually a double bottom right from one side from other side stochastic is still pushing down macd you see that macd slope is still bearish despite of this huge harami and a very bullish candle we got during the previous week i don't claim it cannot uh, push up from here but as i said i would be looking personally only uh, for sell opportunities for the long term of course for the short term, you can enjoy the intraday or uh, day trading um, up, up uh, move if it uh, will come and it will if it will be break again the trend line I just showed at the beginning and the daily 20 MA. Uh, so my opinion, pound is going down uh, based on the monthly chart very far for long run. 158 even uh, 160 uh, have to hold uh, maybe even higher uh, uh, to make it going to 130 or so i would be looking to sell rallies for the long run for the short run no reason why not to enjoy uh, from both directions actually euro dollar well euro dollar is a bit trickier uh, I, I have the same opinion about the euro dollar, the, the higher the worst is, and euro is, is anyway on a bad condition, so weak euro is a clear interest of uh, all uh, the counters there. There is nothing clear on the euro dollar I can point on, I just uh, can say that this line has to hold. Um, just one second, okay, here we go, and that's the uh, kind of triangle it starts to build right now with a false break to break during this uh, to break down during this week uh, nothing you can point right now it seems the euro dollar is inside the range again exactly as in the pound dollar i would be looking to sell the rallies 132 133 classical levels to watch for potential sell with the euro dollar based on the daily or four hour chart divergence whatever will, will be created uh, for long run i still keep my uh, bearish view alternatively uh, a break a real break below this 
trend line and the support around the 128 uh, should open the doors for real bearish move I do think it's only question of time when exactly it's going to happen I do think yet that every high for the euro dollar should be sold the only way I I will may, uh, maybe uh, change my view will be if the euro dollar will break this weekly trend line to the upside in the previous resistance that's around 134 only then uh, I will reconsider my bearish view again my main reason for it is not technical uh, but fundamental this uh, time this period eurozone is in bad mm, condition especially if you take a look on germany which shows uh, several straight bad reports in a row okay it's um, important to remember that Okay, that's uh, my view okay so now what about the crossing between them euro pound watching on a weekly chart this is a kind of a warning sign also euro pound so far holding this uh, zone this resistance around 086 60 86 70 it holds it it uh, does not break it watching on a four hour chart it seems also it has some difficulties to break it down so I will be looking to trade it this way there is a trend line right now and there is a trend line from the upside I'll be looking to trade it this way okay and uh, make sure it breaks down these trend lines at the mm, bearish side better if RSI crosses the 50 on the same time or at least several candles right after that that should open the doors for a bearish move all the way back to uh, this trend line the deep trend line here we go okay so uh, i would expect the euro pound to m make something like that break down and push it back to 085 or so and uh, that's for the short term okay. if it successfully goes and hold above the 086 uh, 60 70 zone it could be bullish call that the euro pound is ready for 088 090 maybe again but again i think the up move is limited as the weekly chart now has uh, this divergence forming i do think it's only a question of time okay so this is my uh, point of view uh break above 8660 or 670 should open the doors break and hold above of course should open the doors for bulls uh take it to 088 then 090 um when I say 088, I mean, of course, this zone. Okay, it could be 088 from the close price here up to 088 uh, plus. Actually, that's a range. It could be a few pips lower, a few pips higher. Okay, mm, doesn't mean the exact level, of course. A quick update about the um, Euro Australian, which break up, retrace during the previous uh week and pushing up my view was and stay still the same uh, we are playing around the extreme mm, i do think it's only question of time until we get a very deep retrace to the downside if not from this high then the next highs okay, there are several highs on the way waiting for the pair we are on extreme anyway and a big cycle uh will come there is no other way and a daily chart uh, if it continues to go that then we will have to pay attention for the next divergence to develop do not be surprised if all that uh, this pair could could do will be just a false break up and down close again above the uh, below this resistance completing a false break during a divergence and right from here starting the down move much deeper closer to 136 or 130 uh, for even okay uh, for me term i am bearish i think a bearish cycle is about to come uh, but again such pairs are not tradable okay on weekly and daily charts from my point of view it's wrong to trade it's better to invest uh, you know my view um they all they are good swap pair the, all the australian pairs um that's all pretty much uh, I do think they able to push bit higher even 
but when we are playing around the extreme with weekly chart fr uh, from my point of view it's only a question of time uh, a drop will come that's what happened on the last visit by the way on the extreme okay before that it was very rare every time we got closer to extreme we got very strong down move um, same I expect happened here it's only a question of time of course same view about the Aussie front which is playing around the bottom and also Kiwi which is reaching the next uh, support around 116, 115, 114 with extreme again. Also, Kiwi, I remind you, we have a strong, powerful harmonical pattern. It's only a question of time, not when, not if, when, sorry, <laughs> not if, but when this move is about to happen. Uh, also, uh, as I said, weekly uh, candle pattern with daily combination of divergences are the best way to do that. Daily already has divergence, it's going long and long and long. This pair is about to create a bottom and fly. When exactly? Only question of time. It could be 114, could be 116 right here, could be even 112. Before huge, huge uh, push to the upside again for so, so, uh, good several hundreds of points to the upside. Only uh, bad thing with uh, in, uh, invest is that they take sometimes they even go against us that's important to know um, and to remember if, if you do invest then accept all the disadvantages of it if you don't want to invest but want to trade then uh, I would say as for the Euro Aussie for example as long as it holds now above the 143.50 look for pullbacks to buy as long as this level is that's all. Dollar Canadian. Uh, I was very bullish for this pair, as you remember. Uh, I was looking for 107, 106, 30, 106, 20 at the beginning, uh, then 107. Uh, I expected it to go, but Bernanke's news just ruined it a bit. It still sits and holds and fights the 104. This weekly resistance support now, actually. As long as it does that and holds this level, I will not be surprised if dollar Canadian will retrace to the upside again. Right now, as, as, as we can see, it has difficulties around the 106. 107 and higher are still available. If we get a break below 104, that's a bearish call that the pair is ready to push down to this trend line. If it holds below the 104 and successfully we are going most likely lower 102 10150 as for the first stage there we can see that 200 moving average on a daily chart is waiting for us right and that means it could be a good bearish sign if we actually hold below the 104 very uh, good bearish opportunity in case we are pushing to the upside again from here and uh, breaking above the daily uh, daily 20 ma again most likely this pair will go all the way to above 107 probably aiming the 110 that's the very important levels to watch uh, for a break and a clear hold in order to go uh, go and make a buy uh, Japanese pairs, well, I don't have nothing uh, new to say actually. I think, maybe I'm wrong, but I think that the dollar Japanese yen is ready to start the next down move, uh, something to 96 or even 94 again. I do think that uh, if there will be no surprises within one or between one to three weeks. Euro yen also will break it down and make A, B, C, D. Something like that, taking us back to 124, 122 or so. Um, but the most important thing for it to happen is daily 20 MA and this monster support it created on the last two weeks, uh, 128, 128.50, must be broken. If it does not, it could be a bullish sign. 
I would say 70 30 to the bearish side but this break must happen now within one to three weeks maximum uh, and the uh, same about the pound yen as well I do think down I think uh, this pair also holds below the, the daily 20 MA I do think we're going to 147.50 again Breaking below that, and I will be expecting 145. I do think it uh, should create a double bottom or double bottom with some angle. Then we can uh, reconsider the up move. Again, same story. Okay, A, B, C, D. That's what I, I would expect it to do right now. Uh, most important zone to for this pair to hold. Watching on a daily chart. We can see that this level is the most important. That's 152, uh, 50, 150 to 70. That's the most important zones to hold. Um, there are many other things on the list, like uh, c different crosses. I will not go over them because you know my opinion. If it's dollar czar, if it's dollar Turkish, if it's uh, the other Australian pairs. Uh, it did not change, of course, for Pound New Zealand, and I still keep my long-term bullish view. Uh, you know that, okay, I don't have uh, nothing else to say. For long run, I, I, I think up. Uh, every every drop down is an opportunity to buy. I would just uh, renew a bit about the dollar, uh, the, the gold and the silver, sorry. Invest in these commodities for long run. Okay. All the world is in panic. Everyone expected the 900, 800, 700. Invest in these commodities. Invest means buy and hold for long run. Okay. Yes, gold is able to go to 1000. Yes, it's able to go for, for 800. But from my point of view, it will be just even better place to buy more. Because gold will push back to this trend line again it's only question of time from my point of view it has all the bearish signs to invest on that don't trade it invest on that never trade something on a weekly and daily chart the stop loss is too big the risk is big better is just to invest uh, with a very small uh, risk of course Silver, same story, has all the bearish signs, and it still does not mean we cannot see 18, 17, or even 16. But if we do, for me, it will be just even better place to buy. With the weekly uh, divergence already, with the weekly extreme already there, I think silver, first of all, is going to the weekly 20 MA, at least, and then I would expect the silver when it's ready to go all the way to this trend line which means 25 or even higher as investments they are perfect they create all the perfect signs for them uh, a few words about the oil and the indices you remember my previous week uh, expectation as I told you uh, every drop is an opportunity to, to buy every high is an opportunity to sell uh, I would be looking for a interesting sell here around 109, 110, uh, or maybe even a bit higher. We have a beautiful uh, extreme forming on a daily chart. If we push this up 109, 110, we are going to have Bollinger Band double duplication, play around the extreme, create a continuing divergence. Then I would be looking to make a sell. In between 109 to 110, this is the first stage, and the next one will be. 112 uh, actually which is here okay 112 113 even okay. uh, that would be also the weekly Bollinger Band duplication so the first stage to look for a sale with a daily divergence 119 110 and the next levels if it does not hold the previous ones 112 113 to go for a deep sale for a correction of 5 up to 800 points indices my view on the, in the, on the indices did not change. I am very bearish on that. Um, well, you know my reasons. Um, 
but I, I would I would be looking for sell opportunities already uh, actually uh, for the short term let me just erase the lines yeah we got the uh, duplication actually bigger uh, pardon duplication uh, there is a support holding uh, right now uh, there is a trend line holding right now uh, combination break below both of them actually below 15 uh, 300 should open the doors uh, for the Dow Jones this is the Dow Jones I show now okay to move to the lower part of this channel uh, which is 15 100 or so for long run I would like invest I would go only with a weekly candle pattern my view is extremely bearish mainly because of the monthly divergence monthly extreme forming uh, and the weekly divergence of course it does not mean they cannot push to new highs yes they could yes they could but we are on a very bad divergence right now i'll explain you why previous time it happened such divergence like we have had here was here in 2009 and we got small correction like we did this year and then another push to new high and then much bigger cycle this was the first then we got the second up move back to 20 ma after 20 candles ride back up again for the next divergence and bam crash now is the third time third time could lead for much much deeper correction and this is pretty much the same divergence we have now with the same 20 candles ride conditions I think we are creating a tap soon that could be here that could be 16,000 it's all acceptable before huge drop of something like 2,000 points uh, or even more will come that's relevant for the S&P 500 which did the same each of these times that's relevant for Nasdaq which also doing the same each time and with its monthly bearish divergence we have it is only question of time this bomb is sticking this bomb is sticking hard okay on the intraday of course you can look uh, play the buys for a long run be very very careful uh, on these opportunities that's all uh, so that's all friends uh, as for now uh, as you can see this week is more calmer uh, mainly because no one really knows and even the charts are confusing a bit uh, to show what Bernanke's uh, words uh, will actually do to the market um, so we just need to go with the things uh, we have on the majors on the crosses on the yen pairs um, in uh, consider even to have more invest than trading this uh, this period uh, this summer just to gain the swap uh, and as you remember nothing is moving without cycles nothing okay so just patience if, if you do invest just patience and this is all this is all thank you very much for watching this video friends i wish you a wonderful trading week and uh, stay tuned for any update on the blog of course and pay attention to close attention to this week news there will be many red news from Europe for Britain that could uh, help the, the European and pound pairs the majors and the crosses uh, to make moves thank you for your time once again I'll see you in the next week yours Vladimir Bakov.